Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut, the After babbling the Belgian, attack. and welcome That's back bad. to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still on Kaldara trying to uh, get the viability on Kaldara to 100% and place an outpost. And uh, we're looking for a cat. There should be. Most of the cat were wiped out when Sloane Kelly arrived on Kaldara, but there seem to be some left. Who? Who's there? Hamash, is that you? Don't talk. We'll get you back to town. No, I can't move. It, it's too late. I just want to rest. Hey, it's okay. Stay calm. We understand. Can you tell me what happened? It, it was the cat. Took us by surprise. They killed everyone. John lasted the longest. I think you I lasted know I the longest. Still alive. I saw them raiding our packs. Then they... They took off into the hills. Okay. What's in the hills? Is there a cat base there? There's nothing in the hills. I don't... We've never heard of a base. Sloan says Kadara is free of cats. <laughs> well, apparently not. What did the cat take from you? I... Uh, I don't know. Supplies. Weapons. Scavenged ship parts. Okay, man. You can rest now. I'll leave you to rest. Thank you. I... I wish... Goodbye, poor man. Kaidas is Ryder. Your cat rumors have weight. Just found a caravan they attacked. Damn it. Really thought we got them all. One of the wounded said they headed for the hills. I'm going to check it out. I'll search too. Grabbing a shuttle now. Is he dying or... Because he's still alive. Should nobody come pick him up? Okay then. Scan for cat tracks. Crashed shuttle. So they took that down with ease. Another corpse over here. Maybe I should check over here. There's another corpse here. And, and, and tracks. There are the tracks. Cat tracks. They're leading up into those hills. See you guys at the uh, coordinates over there in a second. Because, uh, yeah, this is going to be a simple scavenger hunt, it looks like. So after a few times tracking their uh, tracks, we go to this cave, which seems to be their hideout. So let's take a look and See clear this cave. place out. Good spot for a hideout. Bet the cat are inside. Kaidas? I think I found something. Impatient, are we? Sloan, I wasn't expecting you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not about to let someone else fight my battles. Especially an initiative lapdog. Okay, Kate has helped for, asked for you my help. You want me here? Take it up with Kaidas. Kaidas. Oh, I will. Enough. Let's get this over with. You're such a grump when you're worried. Every second you're gone from the port is an opportunity for the Collective. The Pathfinder and I can have... What was that? They know we're here. Get ready. Well, two extra hands don't, uh... Hostiles ahead! Aren't bad. And there we go, that's apparently the last one. That wasn't hard. Um, I could have done that in the previous episode even. That's a lot of experience though. So that's another thing done. So the last thing I need to do is investigate drug use in the Kadara slums. So uh, I'm gonna gather everything I can find here and then I'll get back to the slums and see you guys over there. There's only one more active there quest marker in like the this. slums and it seems Doesn't to be this doctor what over else. here. So. Uh, Hello, Dr. Nakamoto. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. Definitely not leaking. No leaking here. Just seeing all Kadar has to offer. A tourist, huh? Pathfinder, actually. One survived? Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. Oh, that's not surprising. 
She's a criminal. What did you expect? She wasn't always like this. Life since the Nexus, it's changed all of us. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. I like I that Krogan in the back, Sloan. probably. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit. Called the drug Oblivion. But beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. Sounds easy enough. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor. I don't know how to fight. Ha, huh, we do. The formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake. But uh, don't worry about us, Dr. Nakamoto. So help Dr. Nakamoto retrieve the formula. Which means I should have gotten, yeah, modern medicine. Let's track that and head towards the port again. Or not. It seems like his old lab is in the middle of nowhere. Okay then, see you guys at the lab. Seems like we're at the lab already. Oh shit. Outcasts. Nakamoto's lab. This is gonna be fun. There we go. I'll be taken out. It's gonna be a lot of outcast guards there. There we go. Sharp shooting down. A right between the eyes, indeed, Drac. Let's uh, let's do that a few more times. And there we go. Retrieve the formula. I'm on my way. I'm actually gonna grab ammo first. Now that I have the chance, just in case anything happens. Let's scan something here. Built vibrations. I think I could scan this thing in the corner here. There we go. More research data. Let's open this place. Oh, that takes a while. Great. It's just a small cubicle why shouldn't i be able to there's a doctor here as well dr farand please don't shoot i'm unarmed uh relax i'm not here to hurt you dr farand dr arena farand i only want the oblivion formula then i'll be on my way riota sent you didn't he with a sob story about sloan misusing his medical breakthrough something like that Oblivion wasn't his breakthrough, it was ours. You gotta be kidding me. Is everyone on this planet a lying asshole? We always meant Oblivion to be a highly addictive drug. That it has medicinal value was a coincidence. That doesn't make sense. Then why did Dr. Nakamoto quit the outcasts? <laughs> Ryota didn't quit. He was fired. Pushed Sloan for a bigger cut. You've had what, one conversation with him? I've known Ryota for years. Everything he does, he does for credits. But you're different. I play survival above credits. Give Ryota the formula, and I'm as good as dead. Sloan will see to that. I've seen Sloan's outfit. Not a lot of doctors. You're too valuable to kill. She'll see it as cooperating with the enemy. Loyalty's more important to Sloan than brains. Hmm. Jesus, how the hell do I need to... Because we've seen Dr. Nakamoto work on patients in the slums. But then again, the addictions are in the slums and not anywhere else. So... Keep the formula? This is getting complicated. How about we pretend I was never here? I'll tell Sloane it was a collective attack. Thank you. Okay then. She seemed really, really happy about that. Let's check the terminal. Slums need another re-up. Also, adjust the dosage. We had two more die on us. It's bad for business. We want them addicted, not dead. Lab monkeys should have another batch ready for you pronto. As for the dosage, might be dangerous to adjust without Ryota. I suggest keeping it as is. And what with all your medical experience? Just do as I say. Hmm. Interesting. So they, they're definitely both bad options. I don't really see how this could end well, because it stays a drug that accidentally has medicinal purposes as well. Do I get out then? Yeah, I don't think I have any other choice now. 
think I made the decision already. So, let's return to Dr. Nakamoto. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Why? I wasn't going to do anything. Can I actually just kill you from here? That would be weird. Can I? I could just take the formula for myself. But then I will be killing a doctor. Although it's a doctor that's making drugs. Nah, okay, that doesn't do anything. I just made a big hole in her face, but that didn't do anything. Never mind, let's head back to Dr. Nakamoto. He's gonna be pissed, but hey. Dr. Nakamoto. Let's talk to him. Um, it will pass. Doctor? I'm so sorry. There we go. You lied to me, Doctor. What? Ah, Arena was very forthcoming. Had an interesting chat with your old co-worker, Dr. Ferenth. Arena's not a doctor. She's one of Sloane's dealers. What did she tell you? That you created Oblivion together. That it was always meant to be a drug. And you took her word over mine. She was very convincing. More than I was, apparently. By now, Arena's taken the formula underground. We'll never find it. I had to let her keep it. Yeah, let's just stick to our choice. Sloane would have killed her if I took the formula. I couldn't risk it. Sloane doesn't murder her own people. She has some standards. I never should have let you get involved. Please, just go. So, I must have made the wrong decision there, but yeah. It happens, it happens. I do... I do own up to my mistakes, so... Modern medicine... Com complete? Or no, it doesn't really mark it as complete, but let's uh, head back to the Tempest and see if we can do anything uh, in Kadara here. So apparently we have an email from Reyes, let's check that out. Call me, something interesting just fell into my lap, call me when you have a minute. Okay. And then uh, mails from uh, PB and Reyes, but PB wants our help as well, so let's check her out as well. If the game lets me. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit Hi. tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Wait, wait what? Hello. Hello, Poke. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. So, you and your team are like a fungus, you know? You look and smell funny and you grow in the weirdest places. And somehow, you found root in my... Oh, it's so corny to say. In my heart... Ugh. <laughs> I'm recording this so when I get antsy, and believe me, I will, just sit my ass down and play it. Shut up, PB free card. Now, if there's anything you'd like to preserve for posterity, say it at the beep. Oh, and then join me in the meeting room? Um, beep. I appreciate it. Welcome to the team, PB. Glad you've decided to stay. So, um, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. She just showed up. Yeah, I'm safe. She did ambush me, but I survived. No harm, no foul. <laughs> I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This family. That that's really it. Uh, okay. About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> it's an ungotten holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. <laughs> but, but... Ah. Uh. That was nice. Uh, well, since we're here, let's call Reyes. Let's call Reyes. Ryder. Oh my How's god, you look creepy. Um, can't complain. Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Um, Sloan's hosting a party? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. 
Sounds like fun. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. Okay, so I just came from Kandara and now I have to return back to it, so um... Let's get to uh, Sloan's party. See you guys in a second. It appears festivities are underway. Mr. Vidal asked you to meet him at the entrance. Okay, so we are at the entrance. Right over here, do I need to stand here or just open up the door? Probably open up the door. And uh, yeah, let's party. Hold up, this is a private event. Um, I'm here with someone. I'm meeting a friend. Not without an invite. There he is. She's with me, Reyes Vidal. There we go, go he didn't in. even wait for confirmation there. Thank you for the invite, Fidel. Is that Fidel? Ah. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. She looked like the Moshai. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder? Meet Kima Dorgan. The Angaran representative to Sloan and uh, a friend. Nice to meet you. A pleasure, Kima. Call me Ryder. Reyes mentioned your professionalism. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle, make a good impression. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Don't do anything to get us kicked out, please. I won't ruin your fun. Promise. Okay, see you later then. And there he goes. There he Any goes indeed. What he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Enjoy the party. That's the friendliest Angara I've met so far. Even friendlier than the Moshai. Mingle with the party guests. Let's talk to everybody here. Let's start with Kima Dorgan then. Since she's so friendly. I wasn't really introduced as Pathfinder, but yeah. Um, how do you represent Sloan? What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is the outcasts. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. Hmm, so you're not really pleased with your job then? Are you part of the resistance? No, Ephra and I share information. But Kadara's problems come first. If war breaks out between the Collective and the Outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. Indeed. So how do you know Reyes? How did he meet Reyes? The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal. Through business. His skills are very valuable in Kadara Port. Okay, so thanks. Nice talking to you, Kima. Don't need the uh, other Star options. Finder. That's one. And then Katus, we know him as well. Crashing parties now, right? Titus? Couldn't resist. Free food and beer are just so hard to come by in Helios. Uh -huh. Just keep a low profile. Sloan's already gonna give me hell. Because of the cat? Probably. Okay, that was nice and quick. And then let's talk to Sloan Kelly herself. Hello, Sloan. Pathfinder, what an unexpected surprise. Nice party. Nice of you to throw a party oh. for the locals. We both know I'm not doing this to be nice. Smart, then. Like I said, there's no reason we can't be civilized. Enjoy the party. Are those... bionic legs Reyes, and arms, or what you? is that? No answer, but I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. Let's see okay. what he's up to. Indeed, let's see what he's up to, because it seems like he's here with ulterior motives. Let's take a look around. Damn it! Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Um, step away from the crates, please. Whatever you're doing, it stops now. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloan stuff? Okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. been making a lot of promises. I don't trust Shit, you, Vidal. Someone's coming. We need a distraction. Punch him. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> My friend had a bit too much to drink. 
Okay, she looked a lot like Addison. Hey, it worked. <sighs> Next time I come up with the plan. Yeah, you're welcome. What are you doing? Dude, seriously. Finally. Here it is. <clears throat> That's what this was ah. all about, whiskey? The only a good drink, of yeah. Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. And he's cradling it like a baby. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I think... You have a problem. You really need to rethink your priorities. Ha, we'll see. Let's get out of here. Okay, what about the party? No, no party? Okay. <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it? I sometimes forget. It is a nice outpost. That's true. Isn't drama that everything you hoped it would be? Elias has its perks. Every day's an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes? And a long silence. To be someone. Everybody's always someone. You are awesome. Wow, an honest answer. That sounded surprisingly genuine, coming from you. I'm always genuine, Ryder. In my own way. That's almost a romantic moment, although I have no investment in Reyes for some reason. I don't really like the character, so that's why I found it a bit strange that you had those romantic moments with him. Settling Kadara, on hold, wait for trouble to come calling. Well, that is silly. I thought... I thought I was going to be able to place an outpost at the end of this episode, but apparently not. So, with that done, let's wait for trouble. And I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, when we get back, hopefully trouble has come back calling to Kadara. So, uh, see you guys next, uh, next time. Goodbye.